Yeah, guys, it's been a fun night. The event is just wrapping up. We didn't get to hear Willie Nelson play, but we did get to hear from a few other country music stars. And of course, like he said, this is all surrounding an award being presented to Willie Nelson. It's called the Liberty for Just Injustice for All Award. And it's really for all the work he's done, again, outside of his music. He's done a lot to support specifically farmers and rural communities. Back in 1985, he co-founded the Farm Aid, which helps raise support and awareness for family farms and proceeds from tonight's event will actually go to a newly formed endowment fund it's called the willie nelson endowment for uplifting rural communities and that will also help fund research that's focused on sustainable agriculture as well as food security natural disaster recovery all for rural and farm communities hello can you hear me over there First of all, this is an incredible honor. The LBJ Foundation, uh, I love them all, everybody involved, and I really do appreciate this award, and you know, I'll always cherish it, and thank you all for being a part of it. Glad you're here. Lyndon Johnson and I were good friends. We hung out together a little bit. He'd always, wherever we played, concert or a ball game or whatever, he'd always come over and say hello, shake hands, and, uh, you know, like good friends do, uh, fellow outlaws, you might say. <laughs> and uh, our, our motto was, if it ain't broke, break it. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. It's quite an honor. Sorry, hard to believe you so... Uh... He's 90 years old. He's just so sharp. He's so witty, really funny. Um, and he's not slowing down anytime soon. He's headed next to the Midwest for his next show. Live from UT Austin, Carissa Lemel, Fox 7 Austin News.